Hello, this is Jeff from System Trader Success. And in this video, I want to highlight how to access two time frames within one chart. This video is going to be dedicated to those interested in trade stations, easy language, and how to access two time frames within one chart. We're going to start with this ugly looking equity curve and with a simple filter of a, a looking to a higher time frame, we can actually make this look like this huge difference and you'll see that it's extremely simple there's no optimization it's an extremely basic concept but you can see by filtering trades from a higher time frame you can get dramatically different results this is a very popular technique as you've seen in the article associated with this video so let's go take a look at how this was done we'll start from scratch here with the very basic concept and the concept here is going to be using the RSI indicator specifically a two period RSI on a 15 minute chart of the ES market. What we're going to use is the accumulation method of RSI. First we'll type in our variables. The variables we're going to first create is simply one to hold the value of the accumulated RSI. We're going to call it RSI primary. Here we'll add our next line which is going to take um, populate the RSI variable with the calculation of three different RSI calculations. Now there's simply two period moving, at, excuse me, two period um, RSIs and they're based on the current closing price, the previous bar to that one, and the previous bar to the previous. Basically we're just adding the last three bars, their RSI value, and adding them together to get our RSI primary. It's that simple. All right, what we want to do next is add our buying indication. So when the RSI primary and the number of entries is less than or equal to zero, we're going to buy at next bar at the market. Okay, this is self-explanatory. We just went over it. This portion here, what is this doing? It's simply limiting this trading system to one trade per day. TradeStation keeps track of how many trades a given trading system has traded over a day. So when this rolls over, 12 o'clock central time to a new date, this will be the, the counter will be reset to zero and it'll start tracking how many trades you have done that day. Well, we don't want to make 10 trades per day if we keep getting stopped out. If we're stopped out, we're going to be done for the day. So this will limit us to one trades per day. Speaking of stop loss, what we want to do next is add our exit um, criteria and we're going to have two here. Set exit on close works great for back testing but will not work for live trading. So again this is just for testing and this will exit our position on the last bar of the trading day. So we're only going to hold for um, one day and exit on the close. So essentially what we have is an intraday trading system we're going to get out on the close of the trading day on our 15 minute chart. I also threw in a stop loss value. Now this is the core of our trading system. That's it. A two period RSI and uh, a value here of 45 and a stop of 250. None of these values have been optimized at all. This was recommended from a book and this is just something I literally picked out of thin air. Okay let's compile this and it looks like it compiled clean. So let's go take a look at this and see what it looks like on a chart. Okay here we have a 15 minute chart of the ES. Let's zoom out here. Uh, RSI 2 time frames will enable it, what we just created. And this is going to run through here it goes and start calculating. I'm going to pause this until it's finished. And there we have it. Uh, we can see this is, um, I'm going back on this to actually the year 2000 up to the current day of when this is being recorded which is July uh, 13th of 2012. So here you can see that whenever there's an opportunity uh, on each day, whenever there's an opportunity that sees a pullback, it's actually going to buy. And this day it buys in here. You can see then uh, this dash line which represents a transition. We already qualified for another buy. And so we can see all the trades that are generated. 
And when we're in a nice healthy uptrend overall, it does nicely. Again, this generates this equity graph. And you can see that it is ugly. $23,000 loss. We have traded over 3,400 times. We have an average um, net profit of around $7 in the hole. This trading system does not take into account slippage or commissions. Again, this is just a demonstration on using two time frames. And that's what I want to do right now. How can we improve this? Well, let's look at a daily chart and determine when would be the best time to get in. Through various market studies that I've conducted over the past several years, they're well known that the ES market tends to have a mean reverting technique. What this essentially means is this technique right here of buying pullbacks and holding through the close will do well under two circumstances. First, our market should be in a bullish market. Second, on a daily time frame, we want to look for a significant pullback on that time frame. So there's two things that I want to add, and we're going to base them off the daily chart. And these two filters will improve our results dramatically. So how do you do that? How do you insert another time frame here? Let's insert a symbol for the daily. I'm going to go to the top menu, down the menu bar, insert symbol. Okay, we're going to insert another symbol. It's going to be the same symbol, ES. And we're going to select from this pane daily. We're going to go over to the scaling tab and you can see that it's on subgraph 2. Now let me show you that. Let's load this data up. Okay, you can see what it created here was another chart here with the daily bars right here. So you can see this last day where we had this massive move up, this big green bar. This is what it looked like on a 15 minute chart and here it is on a daily. All right, let's take a closer look at that symbol. I'm going to go to Format Symbol again. And what I want to show you is, what this is showing us is that the current chart that we're looking at has two symbols on it. One is known as, under Data Number, Data 1 and Data 2. You can see Data 2 contains our daily price data, and Data 1 contains our 15-minute chart. And this is the important part. Data 2 over here is a keyword that's telling us that data from stream 2 or from data number 2 is daily. Now how this will make sense when we go to the code. But I want to show you something else here. If you go to format, uh, we'll go to our daily chart which we are. Scaling, if you go to subgraph 2 hidden, what is that going to do? Well, if you put it as hidden, this still stays as data 2, but when you go back to the chart, it's hidden. So the daily chart is actually hidden. It's behind the scenes. Sometimes it's nice to have that second pane up so you can kind of glance at it. Other times, it's just kind of a distraction. So right now, it's removed. But if we do go to format symbols, we can see that it is still there. Our daily data is residing under data number data 2. Okay? Let's take a look at accessing this portion of the data in easy language. All right. Basically what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing that we're doing on the daily, uh, the intraday chart, which is taking the accumulation of three RSI values, and we're going to do that with the daily. So we're going to need first a new variable. We're going to call this RSI long term LT. So what this is a, another variable for the long term data. Now we can't just leave it as it is. We want to tell TradeStation we want to designate this, declare this variable for data stream 2. You can see that data 2 is the number that we saw under the format symbols area. 
So we declared our variable for data2. Now we have to utilize it. And what we're going to do is very similar to up here. Let me just copy this. However, we're not going to take the close of the 15 minute chart because that's essentially what this is. What you don't see here, because you don't have to, by default, these are all going to, let me start over here so it's not to confuse anyone, data one. These are all going to data one, but you don't have to put those in here. If, the, if there's no keyword associated here, it's going to assume it's from data one. So what we want to do is data two for down here. Data two and data two. And I'm going to go ahead and just remove these because we really don't need to tell that. Again, TradeStation knows if you're not designating which stream it's coming from or which subgraph, it's going to assume it's the primary main subgraph under data one. So here's our long term calculation for RSI. We're going to take the close of data two, the close of data two, and the close of data two. So it's going to mirror exactly what we're doing on the day on the intraday and we're going to apply it to the daily. Okay, so now we'll add our result here to the buy condition. So not only do we want the intraday RSI to be below 45, we want the RSI on our long-term chart to be less than 45. And of course, limit us to one trade per day. So we're going to look for a pullback on the daily chart. And if that looks OK, we're going to take the next pullback intraday as our entry point. And let's take a look at this. First, let's compile it. And it looks like it compiled OK. Let's go take a look at the chart. All right, the first thing you notice is, wow, there's a lot fewer trades. In fact, you got to scour around through here to find any trades. There's a couple where we had a stop out and then uh, a nice looking trade. Another nice looking trade. Uh, there's a couple stop outs and one OK trade or scratch trade. Here's another. Here is the performance report. We can see we're actually making profit $2,700. But what's really interesting is look at the number of trades. We've reduced from several thousand trades all the way to 255 trades. You can see we're making an average profit of $10.90 and the equity graph looks like this. Still not a tradable type system but a huge improvement and again of course this isn't a trading system per se you can't just go out and trade this this is a demonstration of accessing um, different time frames within one chart and you can see by adding our simple filter that we did now which is nothing more than accessing the daily time frame and using that as a filter. We have significantly improved uh, the equity curve and performance of this system.